An investor who comes to locate in our province, we view that investor as a partner to address our unemployment challenge. The global business service sector is not yet fully established in our province, but there are already pockets of excellence. We are looking forward to meet you again when you come to announce your investment in our province. You will find us here, we'll work with you, we'll support you, we'll do everything in our power to make sure that uh, your visit uh, is not in vain. Thank you very much. Mulweni, and welcome to the Eastern Cape. From the enchanted Karoo Plains towards the Fainbos and subtropical thicket of the Bavianskloof and down to the mighty Kai River where the confluence of biomes meet. The Eastern Cape is a year-round tourist destination with its wonderful climate, 600 kilometers of coastline, a good road network, three airports and two harbors. It's the home of legends, where the real power lies in the heart of its people, spirited, proud and friendly, who weave a colourful cultural tapestry that holds the dreams of a nation and their unbridled potential in every stitch. The Eastern Cape Socio-Economic Consultative Council, EXEC, in partnership with Business Process Enabling South Africa, BEPESA, recently invited prospective investors to experience firsthand just why the Eastern Cape is defined by so much more than its scenic splendor. EXEC's mandate uh, remains uh, quite relevant to date uh, since its establishment uh, in that of being a strategic advice to government. We are a compact of different partners and we therefore want them all the way to be part of uh, the process of uh, taking on the opportunities that the country provides for us and as well as the world provides for us. Founded in 1995, the EXEC fosters meaningful partnerships between key stakeholders of the province, striving to facilitate sustainable economic, social and environmental development. The purpose of this uh, roadshow is really to showcase the value proposition for the Eastern Cape to potential investors, what we've got to give to them in terms of their investment. So we thought instead of talking about it, let's show it. And we give thanks to BIPESA because this is really a collaborative effort, you know, demonstrating that the social compacts do work. You know, when we, when we come together as partners, we, we can do so much more. For this sector, that has so much potential for jobs and for growing the economy. The Eastern Cape is a burgeoning hub for global business services with strong prospects in automotive, logistics, back office customer care and remote work facilitated by highly competitive, productive talent with a proven social and service orientated skill set. Uniquely positioned, the bustling port cities of Gebecha and East London house pockets of BPO excellence with CX expertise. Alarmingly, High levels of underdevelopment and poverty persist in this region. In particular, the youth are vulnerable, with unemployment reported to have reached beyond the 40% mark. Regional investment will certainly shift this paradigm and secure a critical reduction in the current unemployment rate. East London delivers an enabling investment infrastructure with specific industrial development zones coupled with shared investment incentives and grants along with reduced corporate income tax rates. Our vision is actually to see a flourishing BPO sector being developed in the East London RDZ. We've started off with a small pilot project in our science and technology park. From here we would like to take it to the next step and that is actually been achieved through the formation of an 800-seater BPO park project. We are getting very good support from our city and um, the region of East London is very ambitious in achieving and realising these goals because we do see it as a massive job creator for our region. ICT is ranked amongst the top five sectors in South Africa in respect of its contribution to gross domestic product. In a bid to increase participation of young individuals while creating more opportunities in these sectors within the metro. The ELIDZ have implemented the development and operation of an innovative science and technology park from which it will launch its digital hub strategy. 
When it comes to matters of efficiency and innovation, another major investor, Mercedes-Benz, is set to produce the next generation of the C-Class in East London and expand the plant with an investment of 10 billion rand. As the automotive capital, the Eastern Cape is well placed to provide GBS to this sector, yet another opportunity for massive youth job creation. Real People's Debt Management Consultancy is currently the largest debt collecting company in the region and a brilliant example of the benefits collaboration and efficiency bring to improve service delivery. This roadshow happens at a very important time for the metro when we are re-engineering our strategy in terms of economic development, uh, central to it being investment, attraction and facilitation into the city. And bearing in mind that the BPO sector is one of our priority sector, it's a sector that is able to absorb a large number of uh, the unemployed, particularly for us, the youth. The Kucha Special Economic Zone is South Africa's foremost investment hotspot for industries with a global perspective. It boasts a state-of-the-art BPO park developed and managed by the Kucha Development Corporation. This pioneering multi-billion rand project aims to drive local and foreign direct investments in export-orientated industries, positioning South Africa as the Southern African Trade Hub. The general ease of doing business, boosted by the SEZ advantages and incentives, coupled with the security of safe investment through investor protection, sound fiscal governance and a world-class infrastructure, are some of the reasons why organizations such as Discovery Health and up until recently WNS have called this zone home. Dimension Data, the largest shared services operator, is also based in the metro with more than 400 seats committed to making a sustainable impact through various skills development programs. Engeli Enterprises and the Propeller Incubator, in partnership with Bepesa, have launched the GBS IEDF Fund, providing financial support to SMMEs operating in the digital and ITO sphere. Another ideal opportunity for investment of enterprise development spend, creating market opportunities for SMMEs in this region. The value proposition is a very important piece of work uh, for us to be able to profile uh, the strengths that we have in the region. So our commitment into the sector is cemented by the fact that we are passionate about job creation and skills development. The issue of youth unemployment is a pressing issue for all of us as a country. So it's important that this sector provides that opportunity to absorb the youth that cannot be absorbed elsewhere. This showcase has unquestionably shown the Eastern Cape to be a safe, stable destination to locate GBS services and offers an attractive alternative location to ensure business continuity. In the words of Eastern Cape Premier Oscar Mabuyane, we are in the phase of building the Eastern Cape we want, not of destroying the Eastern Cape we have. Let us all protect the future for our children. There could be no better time than right now to make this your new home. Invest and partner with us in forging a pathway to a prosperous, productive and sustainable Eastern Cape where all our people realize their full potential. The Eastern Cape is open for business.